Hey guys, JH, welcome to Practice T. <laughs> been away for a while, guys, uh, because the weather's been terrible. It's good today, and I'm back, fighting fit. Feel great. Uh, okay, guys, something I want to give you today is, and I haven't got a, a description for it or a term for it yet, but Bill Phillips from MMI Golf is talking about a system that he's got called auto lock. Now Bill and I basically <laughs> are always on the same wavelength. It's almost like we're you know, like there's an ethereal um, uh, connection between us. We're always thinking down the same road. Uh, Bill's come up with something that he thinks he can sort of automatically lock us in to uh, to the protocols, which is great. Now I've been thinking along those lines myself, and and because it's been the weather's been so bad for lately I haven't been able to get out and and uh, you know uh, overview what what I'm I'm thinking but guys it's basically this it, it, it's a it's a process that will that will force the body into being in position that it needs to be in for channel lock and that is essentially closed shoulders at impact and the club swinging in a channel beside our body that's where we need to be to be applying correct channel lock that's the methodology we need to be swinging beside our body here sh shoulders closed club moving across the the, the target line um, direction and the ball starting to the right for right hander all the time Now, I, I think there's a, there's, there's a process that's the easiest thing in the world to set the body up to do just that. Now guys, this is a ball that you know, we use for our, our dogs and, and what have you. Now look, see those little black paw marks there? They'll be my reference marks on this ball. Now this is a big ball, but we're doing that for... Uh, it, for you know, to illustrate better, to, to give you a, a, a better visual appreciation of what we want. Now if this was a golf ball and it had the name on it, it had like the range balls have got, these ones have got tricks on written on them. Now if you get a, go and practice and get a golf ball or a practice ball or your own balls and position the ball when you put it down to hit it, position it so that, that those little paw marks or that that tricks on name is actually angled like that. Those little paw marks are right at the bottom of the ball and they are angled over there. Normally we would have the name perpendicular at 90 degrees to the golf ball if we were playing the ball up front and swinging in front of ourselves, but we're not. With channel lock we don't do that. With channel lock we swing beside our body in a channel and the channel goes this way so the orientation of thinking has to be this way and the attack line has to be that way but it's the same direction guys and that direction is that those little paw marks are facing over there and those little paw marks are on the inside quadrant of the golf ball at the bottom now what does that make us do if we if we orientate the golf ball that way how would you get the golf club to attack those little paw marks? How would you actually get the face of the club on those paw marks at that orientation, that, that angulation, that angularity there, which is severe here? To get this, the club face on that golf ball on the inside quadrant, I would, I would have to swing the golf club this way. I could not get the golf club to that inside quadrant, to that to those little poor marks or the shricks on name if I didn't swing the golf club in that manner there. Now that manner there is closed shoulders with the club coming from inside to out in the channel. That's it guys. If you can, if you can get your mind locked into to delivering this guy, the club face to the inside of the golf ball to that shricks on mark or those little poor marks you have to have the body in a specific position to do that. Now I'll show you why. 
Now, if if those if that poor those poor marks are there or that 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 name is there, I have to swing this way. I can't swing that way because <laughs> I missed the marks. But if I had the marks on the outside of the golf ball and I wanted to get the golf club on it, I'd have to swing the club that way. I couldn't get to the golf those marks on the outside of the golf ball by swinging inside. I have to swing outside. Now, if I wanted to hit those marks directly in the back of the golf ball, that would now the marks are now directly at 90 degrees here. I would have to swing that way. That's the only way I could get the golf club on those marks. But we don't want to swing in front of our body. We want to swing beside our body. And we don't want to swing the club down the target line. We want to swing the club across the target line. <laughs> so in order to, to do that, we have to have those little paw marks or that name there orientated with that angularity. And once they're there, guys, the thinking is, the only way I can get to that is I've got to have my body here. I can't have my body here because I can't get to that inside quadrant of the golf ball or that tricks on name or those little paw marks. I can't get there. So if you set the golf ball up, with that orientation or that angularity that that will make the body form itself into a configuration that will allow you to swing the golf club into those marks on the ball because you can't get to those marks on the ball unless you have a certain configuration if those marks are there watch where the club goes to get on those marks there, and they're pointing over here, and they're and they're right on the inside of the golf ball here. I've got to swing there, guys. I can't get the golf club back to that golf ball any other way. I can't swing that way, and I can't swing that way. I have to swing this way. And you know why? Because my mind and my my brain and my eyes are seeing that that orientation line there, and it's configuring my body to get the golf club to swing in that orientation. You can't do anything else. It's that simplistic, guys. Now, now that, that, those poor marks are facing there. I have to take the club there and I have to bring it there in order to put the club face on that, on those poor marks. I can't do anything else. So what you have to do here, this is an eyesight and, and brain training exercise where you have to, to see those marks there and keep them in your mind and think I want to put the golf club face on those marks and how do I do that? Well guys, the way you do it is you get into the channel lock configuration. You can't get the club face on that ball there without closed shoulders and without coming in here. That's the simplicity of it. And that's all happening as a result of needing to get the club back on that mark. So here it is again, guys. This is our golf ball. We've got the mark there. We orientate that mark. If, if there it is there, 90 degrees, we turn it around to 70 degrees facing that way and we put it right down the bottom of the golf ball on the inside quadrant, which means the golf club has got to come this way. If it's there, it's got to come that way. If it's out there, it's got to come this way. But if it's there, it's got to come this way. Can't come any other way. You can't get to that mark and put the club face on that mark unless you swing in the manner that I've just suggested. Can't do it. So just get your normal golf balls when you practice, put them down and get the name and orientate it that way. And then have no other thought process in your mind but doing specifically and absolutely and categorically delivering that club face to that golf ball on that line. We don't want any other thought process. Well, you can't have any other thought process. There's no way of being able to get the, the club face on that quadrant of the golf ball, on those marks, unless you swing in that configuration. So it is an automatic body lock. It's a body lockdown. In order to get this on that, in that configuration, we have to lock the body down. And the way we do that is we think about seeing the golf club attack that, that uh, that configuration there. 
Okay guys, that's the basic overview of it. I'll come back in a moment and, uh, and hit some shots and, and show you, but that's the basic overview. Uh, it's an orient a visual orientation and a brain uh, uptake uh, orientation to, uh, to change the, the attack line. If you think that attack line, if you see that attack line, the body has to comply. It can't do anything else. You cannot get that on that unless the body's in that certain configuration. You can't do it any other way, guys. It really, you can't do it any other way. The body will not, will not configure itself any other way other than the way I've suggested to get the golf club onto that poor mark or that, that, um, that ball name on the, on the golf ball. Okay, guys, that's the basic overview and I haven't got a name for it yet, uh, but it could be eye lock. We, we could be eye locking it or brain lock and, and the over, and the, and, and, and the, the overload of that, or the over application of that, is that the eye lock and the brain lock will create the body lock. And it'll be a body lock, or an auto lock. But that's, what it, that's how I, I, I see it for most people as being a really easy way to do it. Okay guys, I'll just kill it here and then I'll come back and, and see what the sun's like and, and we'll hit some shots. <coughs>